for this week's episode. I thought I would give you a little tour in the life of me as a reader. So get ready. And if you see any books that I read that you liked, leave me a comment below and let me know how your week went. And if you liked this style of episode, please like and leave me a comment and subscribe so I know that I should do it again. I had a lot of fun, so I hope you do too. Hello, it's Monday, September 5th, and it's Labor Day, so no school, no work. Um, but I haven't been reading as much as I wanted to today, and I, I, I did do two YouTube videos though, so that's a plus. I did realize that my challenge to read 30 arcs in three months, um, it was a 30 and three challenge and I did arcs as my focus, ended today. And that, I hate that that surprised me because I had five slots left, mm, six slots left six books to read and I have picture books that I could read and I have a graphic novel so I could have totally spent this weekend knocking that out Ugh. but um, I am going to finish my goal is to finish this last arc um, so that would be 25 which isn't bad um, and it is um, the girl in white by Lindsay Curry it comes out uh, tomorrow, um, or it came out last week, I can't remember. It is a September release, and I am seven, 65 ish percent, almost 70 percent done. It says 25 minutes left in the book, but that sounds inaccurate. Um, it is a fast read, it's a middle grade scary spooky ghost book and there have been some pretty terrifying moments um with a girl in white um with black eyes and i think like black veiny and, and dripping hair um taking these kids from their beds <laughs> they're like hypnotized or sleepwalking to the beach it's a little creepy um but I'm, in, I'm loving that, and I think kids will eat it up. Um, so my goal while I'm working out today, I am riding my bike. Um, my goal is to um, get ahead on that and finish it today. Um, and then I have um, one more episode or two videos I would like to post on YouTube, um, one, a Monday, like a wrap up, a weekly wrap up um, of last week, and then my book mail, um, but that may have to wait. Um, I also do need to do my blog for It's Monday, What Are You Reading? Um, hopefully I can get that done tonight. It's kind of ambitious because I have school tomorrow um, and I'm not gonna stay up late, but we'll see. So, let's go. Okay, I'm 20 minutes into my workout and I'm still working on the book, I'm at 75%, but I just came across something I had to share. So, the word for sure. I've been saying that a lot lately, and my husband has been making fun of me, and now I'm reading it in the books, and it makes me giggle every time. <laughs> so, I feel validated that I'm not the only one using that phrase. Just finished The Girl in White, so now I'm going to bike and read Caraval. I'm really excited to start it. Cooking and listening to an audiobook. I am almost done with Parable of Sour. Question, do you listen, what speed do you listen to? Listen to it on, because I'm on 1.75, because I'm trying to get it done because it's due back to the library in an hour, or er, not an hour in a day, and I wanna make sure I get it finished. I have like a little over an hour left. So I sped it up to 1.75, but I have friends who are like always on two times speed. So I'm just curious, what's your speed?
Okay, so something I'm really liking in Lessons in Chemistry is the presence of both perspectives within the same chapter. Um, it's kind of weird. Um, usually, you know, you have two different, you have alternating chapters of perspectives, and this one gives you both in the same. And so, it's kind of cool, though, to see how everyone's brain is at one time between the two characters. So we have Calvin and we have um, Elizabeth. And they're cracking me up because, you know, they are they both like each other, but they both think the other one can't like them and they think it's ridiculous. So they're all, they're both acting like nothing's going on, but they're both feeling feelings. And so it's kind of cool to, to see that happening at the same time don't have to wait for a chapter and be like oh why is he being like this and then the next chapter you're like oh that's why he is it's simultaneous um it's really interesting It's Saturday and I'm headed to the library to drop off some books. Um, Flamer is a graphic novel. Can't see the cover very well because they have a sticker on it. Um, it's a commonly banned book that I wanted to check out and see what the big hubbub was. Same with this one. So I'm returning these and then I am picking up a few books. So I'll show those to you when I get there. And while I'm driving, of course, I'm listening to a book. So I'm listening to Book Lovers um, and really enjoying that book. Really enjoying it. I love this author. So I'll be right back to show you my library haul. All right. So I got my books dropped off and picked up Horror Store and The Final Girl Support Group, both by Grady Hendrix. I read the, um, my, uh, Best Friend's Exorcism and loved it, and so I'm really excited, especially for this one. And then I'm also going to read on my Kindle The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I'm very excited. Um, it is horror season. Anybody else? I'm ready. Currently in my favorite reading spot. This has gotten so good, but it is not the romance I thought it was. Um, it is a lot more than that. It is heartbreaking and beautiful. Here's my view. And then add this. Happy Saturday night. Have a visitor. Hey, Reese's. I'm swinging. Reese's. Hey, girl. Reese's. Hi. Hi. 